What I would like to show you today, uh, today guys, is uh, two different developments that we have done in my group. Uh, one of them has been just to do a band structure analysis with a series of things that uh, we were interested in doing. But uh, at the beginning, we did it on top of BAS by using the Procar file that comes out from BAS. But now, with Matthew, we have done a draft implementation in Abinit that now works for Abinit exactly the same way that it works for BAS. The, for the first uh, development that I'm going to be discussing is what we call PyProCar. Uh, as I said, it will read the ProCar coming out from Abinit that uh, I will show you in a minute what it has. Oops, that's too fast. Okay, first of all, you get all the numbers. Therefore, this is the file that comes out from the ProCar. Therefore, what you have is the uh, K points, you have the corresponding bands, and then you have the different projectors along the different atomic orbitals. For the different atoms, uh, here is a, the, you have five atoms, and this is a spin non, uh, this is a non-polarized calculation. If you have a spin polarized, then you have two blocks, and if you have a non-collinear, then you have four blocks. Um, and also, uh, another facility that we also have is that we can do uh, band folding, and for that you also need to record, uh, to store the, the real and imaginary part of the projections. Okay, the first, uh, the for we, what we do is that, uh, first of all, we have a very simple input to create the, the K path, that means that uh, you can do the band structure, that after that you are going to do the analysis. Also, because one of the things that we have also implemented is the Fermi analysis for two dimensions, then you also have to uh, generate the mesh just to help the users to do something very, very simple. And based on that, we can do, we have a parser that reads the, the information that comes from the pro card, and after that we can do the plotting of whatever you are interested in. It happens that in the case of pro card, there is a bug that uh, every time that there is a new release in BAS, yes? What is pro card? Pro card, let me go back, is a file that reports the band structure because it has the K point, the weight, and the energy, the occupation, and also besides that, it will contain the atomic projections of, the, of that specific K point and band. So this is only in case of PAW for ability? No. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Before we can do a lot of things, but in the case of BAS, there is a bug that uh, in any new version of BAS, it comes which happens that is that the format has an error. The form will have to create a, a repair. Every time that you have to, the, that you have to read the pro card from BAT, you have to pass it through there in order to use this. And uh, uh, we can do a lot of things. One thing that we can also do is that sometimes you uh, do the calculation for a huge number of K points and bands and things like that. And then what you can do is just make a selection of, uh, of uh, of the band that you want to plot, or you might want to make a selection of the atom that you want to plot and create a small pro card that you can play around with. Uh, okay, this is the K path. I don't think I just explained it because it's exactly what, uh, what uh, they also do in, uh, in AbiPy. Uh, right now, in the implementation that we have done in Abinit, the only thing that you have to do is use uh, PRT DOS or PRT, uh, PRT DOS 4 or, or 3, and they will create the output file of pro card. As, it, as in the case of Abinit is parallel, then you will have different pro cards, and then we, in, in the same process that we are going to be doing the analysis, it will join the, 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 the whole number of pro cards in a single file. And then at the end of the day, the only thing that you are going to be doing is plotting the output of, of, of the file that you have. Therefore, you can do a lot of things. Now that you have the access to that, you can plot the band structure, you can do the band uh, structure with respect to the spin, with respect to the atom, with respect to the... the uh, uh, orbital that you want to study, anything that you want to, it's very easy to implement, and I will show you a few examples of that. Um, and it's going that fast. Uh, for example, this is the case of, uh, this is uh, using Abinit. Therefore, we did the calculation. There's, uh, you read the pro card that has been previously generated in, in, in Abinit. Uh, it defines the, the color map that you are going to be using, and then you are going to be plotting one spin, or you can plot both spins. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is what, what this is saying, spin one, is it will be plotting the two spins. Therefore, here you are plotting the spin up and the spin down. Uh, eh. Then, for example, in here, I can do the same, exactly the same command, but then I can just say, let me just uh, plot the contribution of the vanadium atom. And in this case, it was a strontium vanadate, and therefore you will see what is the contribution of the vanadium atom. Therefore, you can also uh, plot different orbitals. Um, 
You have to know, uh, it's in the manual, but you have to know what are the corresponding labels corresponding to the different orbitals that come in the Pi Pro car. But then what, the only thing that you have to say is that uh, I want to just plot the band structure corresponding to this orbital. You can give the list, the, the list that you want to have. Therefore, you can select only one, or you can select several of them, and then you can do the analysis of that. You can also include one atom plus the, the orbital that you want to start in the same plot. Um, you can also read several Pro cards and plot them in the same, in the same plot. Um, this is just for a demonstration. What we did is just uh, take one and take another one, just shift it out by a given energy and plot it together. Uh, the nice thing about this is because I know that people in Siesta is going to be doing the same implementation. Therefore, we can do, for example, band structure in comparison between Siesta and Abinid in a single command. Um, we have done it with Abinid and, and, and Buzz, for example. Um, and in particular, you can not only also do that, but also you can compare the band structure, and you can compare the band structure obtained for a single atom in the two different pro cards, only by using one single line. Um, you can also do the two-dimensional Fermi surface. Therefore, this is the case. I think it's a, this is a, a, a strontium binary, I think. I, I don't remember exactly if that is correct. But uh, then uh, you can assign colors to the given polarization of the spin. But also, because you can do the non-collinear magnetism, you can also have access to the, to the spins. Therefore, you can also impose the spin direction in the plot. Therefore, you can see how the, the spin structure is happening in the two-dimensional plot of the, of the, of the Fermi surface. Um, you can also choose uh, 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 to do it only for a particular spin uh, orientation. For example, here I have chosen the, uh, because you use the, the, the Python notation, the for x is 0, y is 1, and, 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 and z is 2. The for, this is the case of, of, of this particular case, but uh, then you can select one or you can select the total. Whatever you want to do is allow for the code. Uh, then we also something that we have implemented is that we can do the Fermi surface. That's trivial because that's also in, in, included in ABPI. But then we can do also coloring the, sur the Fermi surface with anything that you want to that you want to study. For example, you can select to plot the Fermi surface according with the atom, or according with the spin projection, or according with the orbital if you want to do it. Um, for example, this is the case of uh, bismuth and timonite, which is a topological insulator, and here is the Fermi surface two electron volts on top of the Fermi level, and the arrows correspond to the Fermi orientation perpendicular to the, to the Fermi surface. And they appear on the same plot, and everything comes from the pi pro card. Uh, we can also do the, the band folding. Basically, you have to do the, the supercell calculation. And based on that, then after that, you just uh, read the corresponding pro card obtained from that. You read the corresponding pro card. You set the, the supercell that you have created. And then you just, uh, the, the code will do the bind folding. Of course, for this case, the, pi pro, the pro card will look a little bit different. The pro card will be uh, very similar to the one that I showed before. You will have the blocks over here. But then you will also have a second block that corresponds to the imaginary and the real part of the projections, which are necessary for the, for the bind folding. And that's it. This is what we have done for the, I finished already? Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, that was the, uh, one of the developments that we have done. And the second one is, <laughs> the second one is something that uh, started uh, I I with a very sad story. We started to use the molecular dynamics implementation in Avinit. And for some reason, every time that we use it, it crashes. After several iterations, it just crashes. And after trying uh, many different possibilities, I said, I gave up. I have two options. I go to BAS, and then I have to be loyal to Avinit. And then I decided, well, let's, do, let's build a package uh, on top of Abinit. And the big difference with respect to whatever is included in Abinit is that besides we have the molecular dynamics, which is an MPT and MVT simulation, we have also implemented many different constraints additional to the, one, to the basic one that you can have. Therefore, we can do MPT and MVT. We can impose bond distances, bond angles, atomic positions, lattice parameters, angles between lattice parameters, angles between different uh, atoms, and um, volume of the cell, and uh, I think it's, uh, that's it, yeah. Therefore, we can impose that and do the molecular dynamics based on that. The way that has been built right now is that you can do it in two different methods. We have a Python interface that what it will do, it will open up in it, which will be like the calculator, like in the same way that ACID does. And then what you do is that you will run the molecular dynamics, and it will, it will pass the coordinates uh, to Abinit. Abinit will do the calculation, and you can obtain then the, 
the forces, the stresses, and energies from the from Abinit, and then you use the molecular dynamics to move the ions, and you will do it as many times as you want. Um, ah, by the way, the, the whole idea behind this molecular dynamics is not only to do the normal molecular dynamics, because one of the things that I promised in the Abinit Developer Workshop like six years ago is to have a metadynamics on top of it. That's exactly why I need the molecular dynamics to run, and that's exactly what I couldn't do it on top of, uh, inside of it. Therefore, that's why we create this package, because now one thing that we are now testing is that uh, it's a, uh, 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 metadynamics that we work on top of, of, of it. Uh, the way to do it is everything is included in this web page. Therefore, there, uh, as I said, there are two different methods that you can use to interface with this uh, development. One of them is through a uh, Python interface. And another one is to create a library. Right now, the library has not been connected yet to Abinit, but we have tested out that by creating a library, it can be called from a different code that will be just use the library as a simple interface. Okay? But that the plan is to do it uh, uh, soon, before I retire for sure. Uh, and the compilation is very easy as normal as uh, any, any code in, in Abinit. And the, the thing that you will need is, is the input. And that's something that I, I have been thinking about how to do it. Right now, it looks very complex because over here, the example that we have contains many different constraints. What we did is a very uh, large unit cell for around 40 atoms. And then we impose, for example, the angle between three atoms, plus the positions of another atom, plus the, the basic cell and things like that, and do an NVT simulation. And for that, we want to see how that behaves. Uh, this is just a, a, this is not the least, the, the most recent results, uh, the most recent results came out like a few minutes ago, therefore I didn't have to upload it. But then after that we can, it will be very nice to interface now with a, a GAD. But I think something that uh, when, right now we can do is, for example, we can uh, follow the, the angle based on the constraint that you have imposed in the molecular dynamics. We can follow, for example, in this particular case, we have imposed the AB plane, and you can see that they have not changed in a, in a while, but then the C axis changes after the molecular dynamics start. We can follow the total energy, the pressure, and everything else. And I think that's what I have to say. Thank you. Right on time. <laughs>